Hi, this is Harish here. Welcome to DB2 LEW HADR tutorial tip 7 or part 7. Uh, in this tutorial or tip that I want to provide is the load copy image contains both the table data and the index data pages or the index pages. The scripts that I'm using for this video tutorial is available for free at db2lewacademy.blogspot.in. The YouTube channel URL is youtube.com slash db2lewacademy. The mail ID is db2academy at gmail.com. This slide talks about the problem scenario and the tip or the solution that I want to provide. Uh, the demonstra like we want to demonstrate how a load copy image contains both the table and the index data pages inside that load copy image file. Uh, the load utility with the copy as option will create the load copy image and this is nothing like for HADR like that. So even a non HDR or a regular database, if you have a recoverable database and you are running the load utility with the copy as option, that's going to create that load copy image for you. And uh, the solution or the tip that I want to provide is this load copy image, it not only contains the table data, it also contains the index data or the information that is required for rebuilding the index. Suppose if your table has indexes and the load chooses to rebuild your indexes. So it is going to contain that information as well. So what happens in the in a HDR system is if you like load your primary, uh, like you, you use the load, load utility and load some table in the primary, it has to get eventually replayed in the standby. So you will configure a shared location and in that shared location, this load copy image will be placed. And when you do that, so you'll have to estimate for the space, like the table uh, the table size plus if there are multiple indexes on the table you will have to um, you know allocate that space as well so make sure that uh, the file system is having sufficient space uh, which is like sum of the table data plus the uh, index data size or the index pages size okay so um, so that that is what the tip that I want that I wanted to provide and the log index build there is a setting log index build in dbcfg so that setting will only increase the transactional log space requirement or the transactional log space consumption it will not increase the load copy image size so if whether you have log index build on or whether you have log, log index build off it doesn't matter uh, the lo load copy image size will still be the same and we i i'll show you like how it, so if, if there is a table it takes about 1.5 gb and if I add couple of indexes and then do the load, the load copy image is going to be more. And if I add couple of more indexes and then do the load, the load copy image size is again going to get increased. So that's what I'm going to show in the demo. And the load replay on the standby is actually not like a typical invocation of a load utility or execution of a load utility. Like if you if you run a load utility in the primary or in in uh, non hdr databases, it is going to invoke the load utility and you will have the db2 list utilities command or the db2 pd command displaying all the load utility information for you. Whereas the load, the same load utility that is invoking on the standby, it is not, we, we cannot say it is invoking the load utility. We should say like, you know, it is rolling forward through the load and the index build log records. So that's the correct terminology we should be saying like that because it is not internally invoking a load utility like that. It is still rolling forward. St since the standby is in the roll forward phase, it is still in the rolling forward uh, mode and it will be doing the load log records replay like that you know we'll, we'll have to understand it that way okay so without uh, much further delay let's get into the uh, examples so here what I have done is I have created the database tutor DB I have configured for archival logging I have given a uh, sufficient amount of uh, log secondary and uh, I have taken a backup bec because like you know I'm en enabling the archival logging and I'm activating the database connecting to the database and drop uh, table staff and create table staff and load the data. So this is like only table, right? So once I load this, sorry, once I load this table with some 1 GB data, so what it is going to do, it's going to, there is a copy S yes, and there is this, in this directory, it will uh, create the load copy image. And again, I have run that uh, thing. Okay, that's, um, I can show you, show you that. Mm. Okay, this is the one. So I have activated the database, I have connected, I have dropped the table, which, which is not there actually. So it's saying it's not there. 
and I have created the table and after creating the table I am immediately, immediately loading. So there are no indexes. So this is the first time the load happens and what I do after that is I do connect reset then I connect to the tutorial database again and I drop the table staff and I create the table staff and I create the index idx1 and um, idx2 so two indexes I have uh, created and then I go and load the data with indexing mode rebuild and uh, this also has been done okay and after that what I do is go to another terminal again connect to the database drop the table create the table and create the indexes this time four indexes I have uh, created and after that I load the data every time I, I use replace command okay so so it's going to replace into the staff so it's not going to increase you know adding more data so it's going to replace it's the same data that is getting there but the indexes are getting you know every time I am running I'm adding couple of indexes so that is also done and you can see that there are three load copy images that got created and the first image is only with the table right that's like about 1.5 1.6 GB and the next image is like with two indexes and this image is like with four indexes and you can see that from 1.6 to 1.9 like close close to 300 MB it is adding and from 1.9 to 2.2 so close to 300 350 MB for every uh, two indexes that we add we are getting that you know so um, so pick like graphically speaking you can see here 1.6 GB 2 GB 2.3 GB so you can see that so it's continuously increasing as I so that th these are the steps and this is pretty much you can do reproduce it with any kind of data any kind of table uh, of 1 GB put put like considerable size of that you know uh, the table the data should be like 1 GB 2 GB like that so that you and you can even repeat for six indexes I'm not going to do that so it's going it's, it's like you know taking a long time I'm not having a, such a powerful laptop so um, so that is the tip that I wanted to provide so every time when you add more indexes to the table and when you load the data the the load copy image that is which is getting created it's going to take the table data 1 GB plus the space uh, of index data as well so we cannot say exactly index data but I'm, I'm not sure we can say all those um, information that is required to rebuild that indexes or the rebuild index log records so those will be probably you know getting in there so so that is what um, we wanted to say so if, if you are using the particularly if you are using the HDR system and you're loading it on the primary you have to place it in a shared location the load copy image you'll have to put it in a shared location and the shared location should have enough space which is like not only the table uh, space uh, the table um, you know 1 GB of table means it's not only the 1 GB of data it's although it's also including the indexes so data table data plus table index spaces so consider both the size and just you know put put it out there in in the shared location uh, and there is a setting log index build on or off it doesn't it doesn't have any effect like uh, even if you put because it is more of a transactional logging only uh, it won't affect the load command so even if the load command is running and if you have this copy s yes, and if there are indexes even if the log index build is on or off that will not change your load copy image size so that is the tip that I wanted to provide in this video tutorial and um, that's it pretty much uh, see you in the next video tutorial uh, please subscribe to my channel youtube.com slash db2lwacademy see you in the next video tutorial until then bye bye